right on the heels of Avengers 2. Not only is Marvel coming out with Iron Man 3, Thor 2, Captain America 2, even Ant-Man, and of course, Avengers 2, but they're also bringing another one of their premier superhero teams to theaters, Guardians of the Galaxy. If you're a non-comic book nerd, and you watch this video, you'll know exactly who those are first. Without a doubt, if you're a comic book nerd fanboy like me, it's a great time to be alive because all your favorite stuff is being brought to the big screen in all its glory the way you always imagined it would be. The Avengers movie is a perfect love story, dream of every fan. And when they did that scene, mid credits scene, where they showed that character that we all love, we just all went nuts. However, many of you, you're not a comic book fanboy, you saw that mid credit scene and you were like, wow, I have no idea who that is. Well, this episode is for you. I'm going to explain Marvel's new project to you, the Guardians of the Galaxy, in a way that you will be, will be totally clear to you. Space Avengers, it's the Avengers in space. While the Avengers are Earth's mightiest heroes, the Guardians of the Galaxy are the Galaxy's mightiest heroes. So, on to you, you've got your, you know, your Captain America. His name is Star Lord. He's an American astronaut who gets, you know, shot into space. He's kind of the Flash Gordon or Buck Rogers of the group, if you will. He's God. I have somebody know who that is, so I don't feel like a total dork. Then you've got Gamora, who's the female of the group. Um, she's sort of this tough as nails, you know, femme fatale and kick tail girl of the group. She could use she, you might say, is kind of like Black Widow. Drax, who's sort of the brutish kind of hulk of the group. Rocky the Raccoon. Which is exactly as it sounds. A raccoon. Alien. Superhero. And then Groot, who is basically Trevi as a superhero. Which is exactly as awesome as it sounds. That's one version of the Guardians of the Galaxy, one lineup, and it appears to be the lineup that's being used in the movie. I'm kind of disappointed that Nova isn't in there. He's sort of a Marvel's version of Green Lantern, space cop type from Earth. And he had such a great romantic relationship with Gamora that I think it'd be, it's a shame they're not going to do it. And I'm being a nerd again. The next part of this is going to deal with the purple chin guy in the mid credit scene of the Avengers. So if you haven't seen that, go repent of your sins right now and watch it and then you can watch the rest of this video. But the rest are going to be spoilers for that. So, the guy's name is Thanos. And Thanos is a major cosmic villain. If you don't understand who that is, and there have been a lot of places online that have been trying to explain him to you and have done a really awful job, so let me explain Thanos to you right now in one sentence. He is an alien god who is in love with the goddess of death and so tries to woo her by wiping out galaxies. There. That's what you need to know about Thanos. Anyway, there's speculation, a lot of speculation, Thanos is going to be the villain in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie because he is a cosmic space threat, they are cosmic space heroes, do the math. But most people also think that he's going to be in the Avengers. So likely as not, and this is my theory, but Thanos will be set up in Guardians of the Galaxy as a villain, and then be the villain in Avengers 2. It's much as the way Loki was set up and developed and the villain in Thor, and then brought into the Avengers. 
Now, that's... I would personally like Thanos to be used in Guardians of the Galaxy, and then used in the Avengers, but not be the main threat, and save Thanos for the main threat in Avengers 3. But we won't talk about that right now. So, there you are. Guardians of the Galaxy, excellent. You can thank me later. And, oh yeah, go watch all the Marvel movies leading up to that. And be sure to tell me with all of your friends I'm wowed by your knowledge of Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel movies. Be sure to remember all the normal people who made it possible. <laughs>